Programming 101 with Head Grower. On this page you see the snapshot of the controller we'll be demoing with. If you have multiple controllers, you will see them listed vertically along the left panel. We're going to go ahead and click our controller. You can see in this snapshot view, directly underneath the controller name, you can see the controller model. In this case, we have a climate boss, GHK, with an additional add-on, C. The GHK is our louver fan model. The C add-on stands for a proportional output to be used for either curtain or vents. There is an additional option, which is the H or third heat option as well. This controller does not have the third heat configured at this time. You can also see that our controller is set up to be a two zone controller. In the controller status, you can see first zone one. You can then scroll down to see zone two information. At the top of the screen, you can see which stage your controller is in. The options that you will see are day, diff, or night. Currently, our controller is in day. The other piece of information you can see at the top of your status page is when the controller last updated information and sent it to head grower. Next on this page, you can see the controller's current temperature as well as the set point for this controller for this stage. You can see the min and the max temperature. You can see the clock, which is in a 24 hour format, and you can see the current humidity percentage. To have an accurate humidity reading, you have to have the humidity sensor add on. If you scroll down, you can see alarm options. You can also see temperature options. We will quickly go over the outputs and how to program these outputs. We will also go over how to program your set point. To manually override your set point for zone one, go ahead and first ensure you're in zone one, then click the set point button. And it will bring up what your current set point for the current stage is. We're gonna go ahead and increase our set point for day to 63 degrees. You can see that head grower is syncing the set point settings that we just saved with the controller. Now, if you look in the temperature options settings, you can see that we have cool one, cool two, vent C. For zone one, those are all of the cool or proportional outputs that we can operate and use to control our current temperature and get it closer to the current set point. These outputs are listed above the current set point information so you can see which outputs work together to reduce your current temperature and keep it close to your set point. Below the set point is your heat outputs. For this example, we have heat one for zone one. For each of your output indicators, we have the name. So for example, cool one, we have the current setting. So it would activate at 66 degrees Fahrenheit. And we have the mode, which is auto. When this shows in blue, it means that the output is currently active. Our heat output is not active, which is why it is not in red. Now we're going to go ahead and show you how to change one of these settings to program your controller. We will go ahead and use the heat output and we will override, do a manual override and set it to on. We added a comment as well as we were updating the settings. So again, just like the set point, you can see that the heat one settings are syncing with the controller. 
Once those changes are synced with the controller, you can see that in your Audit tab, and it will update here to reflect the current settings. So as you can see, Heat 1 is now manually on, and you can see that it is active because it is outlined in red. Now let's go through how to adjust your program or your day, diff, night, set points, and start times. For each day, diff, and night stage, you can adjust the current set points, you can adjust the start time, and in Head Grower, it will show you what you previously had, strike through, and what the new setting will be after you save the changes. Additionally, you can, let's say we change the start time for night to 1900 or 7 p.m. After updating that value, the image at the top will show you the different information and what it will look like. If we say decrease the set point dramatically for night, you can see that line move at the very top. We'll go ahead and save those changes. Once again, it will be syncing. So zone one set point has been manually overridden right now. We are also adjusting the program. If you scroll down, you can see zone two. And again, you see the cool temperatures, the cool outputs. Again, in zone two, you see the current temperature, the set point, the options to adjust your alarm values, your cool outputs for zone two. In this case, we have cool three, cool four, and vent D. And you also have your heat outputs, so heat two. As you may have noticed, after the program settings were adjusted, that canceled the manual override we had with the set point. So you may have noticed that when we set the, when we change the set point to 60 degrees, it syncs that information and it will show the set point information under your current temperature differently. It shows that you have manually overridden the set point. This manual override of the set point will either be canceled if you change your program settings, so your diff, day, and night settings, either start times or set points. It can also be canceled when the controller transitions to the next stage. So in this case, the manual override of your set point will be overridden by the program settings once this controller goes to night. And that is a quick overview of programming with Head Grower. Please see a video for how to program additional settings such as two-stage timer settings, shade and energy curtain settings, as well as dehumidification settings. For programming information about how to program your vents, please see the video about vent programming or RWL overview with Head Grower. For information about alarm options and notifications, please see the video about notifications with Head Grower. If you have additional questions about programming your controller, Please see your Climate Boss manual or view the manual on the Bartlett Instrument website. Additionally, you may call or email us for support. Thank you.